Very proud of our effort tonight. You know, for 40 minutes, I thought we really did a good job of carrying some momentum from um, Thursday night over to today. Not necessarily to start the game, the execution, but just the effort. I thought we were playing hard. We were playing very aggressive. Offensively, in the first half, we hit a little lull, turned the ball over too much, um, kind of like we have in the past. I thought in the second half, we wore them down a little bit, started to move the basketball a lot better. They took 36 threes. I mean, I thought some of them were open that they just missed, but I thought also defensively we did a pretty good job outside of the last two minutes of fouling every 10 seconds. But other than that, it was a very pleasing win against what I consider one of the best, you know, three or four teams in our league. Guys like Ha Ha and Hakeem and Dion, you look at these three games they had, where do, the, where do those kind of individually rank in the games you've seen them play? I thought Ha Ha to start was 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 kind of wading into the game. I was on him like you got to be more aggressive, and I thought he got going there. He got a rhythm in the second half. I mean, I, he rang up rang up three or four threes. I felt like in a row, 17 rebounds has got to be a career high for him. But five assists was huge. I thought Dion. I don't think the game ends up being if like it is if Dion doesn't play like he did. He, I mean, he probably went on a seven or eight zero run in the first half on his own. I thought that kind of we were knocking at the door a little bit to to push that lead open. We did at one point to ten or eleven. They made a run at the end of the first half. And Hawk has been uh, you know the twenty points are impressive, but he's 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 been in my opinion one of if not the best defensive players in the league. Elmore scores thirteen. I don't know how much of those were on Hawk. Not many. He's he's take he's embraced the task of taking the best player on every single scout, and I thought he's he's playing like very very well. Well, it's you know today in the last two games we've we felt really good. I mean we scored ninety. Not 98 points in our first two conference games. So to score 94 tonight, two weeks later, is pretty is pretty uh, it's satisfying as a coach. We've always been pushing. I think everyone who's watched us this year, we've been pushing on the envelope of like, okay, when's it going to come? When's it going to come? Just the like offensive rhythm and breakthrough. I think one of the things was we needed to put together a win or two back to back to get the confidence. I thought we got that last weekend. I was optimistic that we could put two more, like we could perform like we have the last last two weeks. And again. The last, this the last couple of days, but I think it's it's a credit. These guys are juniors and seniors; they've been through it. We just needed a something good, something positive to happen to get I think us mentally in a good place. Was it with the full court, the full court, court pressure you had you put on them early in the game? Yeah. Did you think that got them sort of set a tone and got them a little bit out of? Yep, I think I think we've started to embrace it because it's been successful. And I thought what it did, we got two turnovers, I feel like, in the first five minutes and got a layup for it. And I think I thought that just kind of set the tone like, okay, we're here, we're ready, we're 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 playing hard, we're we're deflecting passes. We tried to slow them down. I mean it's two games in a row that press has kind of been better than it has been earlier uh, in the season. But I, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was big. You mentioned uh Thursday night that they tried to shoot twelve every twelve seconds. Yeah. And started the game out, you guys got the ball, you scored, you got a turnover. They didn't get a shot until almost the end of the game. Yeah. Is that, okay, I'm assuming that's what you were looking for. Yeah, I mean, day. to hold them to 37%. Yeah, yes, very much so. And I thought as a coach, you're always, especially me, you're just I'm more on the pessimistic side. They missed a lot of open shots, but a lot of them were really deep. But I do think the biggest thing is is our guys know when we're playing hard, when we're playing with emotion, there's just a sense of feel. Sometimes I thought we made a lot of shots difficult for them. I thought the press helped that to start, to hold them to 78. But I mean, they really scored out 10 or 12 points in the last two minutes because we fouled. So really, to hold them around 70 in the flow of the game is is, is really, really good, I think. That's been a big part of their offense this year. Him getting to the free throw line, obviously, a lot of times. He only got four times, and the first time was probably eight minutes left in the game. Was that an emphasis? He, he, here's an he's six in the country in, in drawing fouls per game, and that's an analytical stat. But we talked to Hawk about it. He's, he draws seven and a half fouls a game, and it's he sh in conference he shot eight free throws a game, which is a huge was a huge emphasis for us. Hawk is is again one of the best defenders. We talk about put your hands up. He's very good at drawing bo body contact, and if he does get it over you, let Ha Ha or Tosin try to go block it, and we'll play from there. So having five guys in double figures. I I think it's who, it, it's it's who we've been in the past. I think it's it's our identi it's been our identity. The 25 assists tonight was amazing. Uh, coming off a 19 assist night again, that's who we've been. It's been a sh it's been a struggle for us to get to that point without Nick. Hope we've got there in the last couple games. We've got to keep it going now. You 
mentioned the effort, the execution wasn't great, the effort was good, but were you concerned at all in the first half that they were playing poorly and y'all weren't putting them away? Yes. Well, we kept knocking on, we kept knocking on the door of – of an eight, ten point lead. And I thought if we would have delivered one or two blows in the first half, I would, it would have been interesting to see how they responded. When we went into halftime, I was pretty upset just because at home with those opportunities, you got to take advantage of them. But similar to Thursday, Thursday, we came out, I thought, really good. And they scored the first basket of the second half, and then we got, we got going offensively. And, we, and, it's, and I thought we wore them down as the game went on. You know, I thought that was a huge part of it as well. Crowd help win the second I thought it was great. Yeah, I thought the crowd was great, and, and our guys, our bench was great. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was really good. Defensively, how did you, how did UAB stop um, Marshall in the second half? Well, I think one of the things is, is, and they scored a lot of points. A lot of them were at the end, but I thought it was we did a good job of using our athleticism and our length, and we we tried to be really physical on the ball. Hawk, Denzel, fit more physical guys. Dion came in and really bothered them with ball pressure. I thought I thought that helped a little bit. Yeah, I thought we made the, the other thing that really in the end I thought separated this game was we made th on f well, four or five possessions we made three after three after three and we've done that in the past not necessarily as much this year but it's great to have that feeling back because I think it, again it just breeds confidence for us. Sixty eight percent in the second half. Yeah. That's 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 kind of crazy. What is yeah. that? Is that just quality looks? Is that? I think it's part of how they play as well. You know, they want to get up and down. We scored 60, they scored 47, which is probably the most I'm guessing we've given up in a half in conference so far. But, you know, again, it's just I told our guys, we, we're not going to forget about, you know, we've gotten a little bit better. We have to keep getting better. We scored 45. We scored under 60 points our first two conference games, you know. So now to score 60 in the second half as a coach, obviously you're very pleased. Part of it is their style of play. Part of it is just the confidence, guys moving the basketball, feeling more comfortable with each other. Um, I'm tallying mine at the end of the season, and I was gonna. I, so I don't, I don't know exactly. I have to check the website, but five is 50 from me. I'm thinking 13 players. That's 63. A couple coaches. So I think from from our program, I'm, I think 75 dollars tonight. It's not enough. We need a little bit more than that. <laughs> now. Yeah, I feel like we are. But uh, start this game, we got off to a slow start offensively. So uh, turned the ball over like seven or nine times, I think. Uh, at the half, in the second half, we just got in the rhythm and got everything going, and we start to click. What was the biggest reason? Did, did, what kind of got you guys going in the second half? Was it Hakeem's three when they took a quick lead? Uh, I really don't know. Uh, guess the crowd, you know. The crowd got into it a little bit, and we got into it. We started cheering for each other, and uh, we just got, got it going. Got a couple fast break points and uh, hit a couple threes as a team and uh, really didn't play that good on defense. Uh, Could have got more stops but uh, down the stretch, but uh, we still got a victory. Uh, you guys, you mentioned that y'all started slow. What was, what do you think was going on with the slow start? I guess early game. Uh, we used to play in seven, uh, early shoot around. Uh, but uh, we was ready, we was ready to go. We just got off to a slow start. We was there mentally. They kind of got off to a slow start as well. Though. Yeah, I'm glad they did. You know. <laughs> How much more confident offensively do you feel out there, especially these last four games? Just going out there and competing, you know, leave it, start on defensive end. And uh, when I'm open, knock down the shot, uh, come to the gym late at night, work on my shot, you know, and just guys move the ball around a couple times. and. Uh, if I'm open, I'm shooting it. You guys had five guys in double figures move the ball pretty well. I mean, you guys don't seem to really care. Who no, we really don't care who scores. Uh, it's like, like in the past, anybody can come off the bench. Uh, any of the starters can come and have a big game for us. Like tonight, Hakeem had a big game. And uh, Dion, uh, coming off the bench, he had a pretty big game for us as well. Uh, yeah, I think so, probably, yeah, since I've how, been the Blazer. How did you feel out there going against the defense? Obviously, you're hitting your shots and getting 
they were having a hard time guarding it too much. Yeah, I mean, it just felt good to see it going. I mean, I just wanted to win the game, really. What uh, what was kind of the mindset going in? Because these guys, they score 88 points a game or something like that, and they you know, pretty much held them off most. They got some points late, obviously. Uh, pick up that point guard first in transition, locate him in transition. They like to run to the corners and shoot three, so we sent three guys back every time. Kind of slowed them down a little bit. I feel like the pressure you put on them early in the game, the full court and three-quarter court, kind of got set a tone and got them out of the game a little bit? Yeah. Uh, we knew they didn't like pressure. Uh, they like to play fast, get up and down, shoot threes in the first 10 seconds. You slow them down, make them play half-court basketball. They took a quick lead on, on you guys, and then you, you bounced back or rebounded with a three. What? Because uh, obviously you guys didn't really get too, too nervous or anything when they took a lead in that. Just try not to get rattled. Just play through it. You guys are obviously playing pretty well right now. What's what's the biggest difference that you see in this team in these last few games? Just our mindset, our approach to the game. We trying to get off the Alexa Days school and get back into the junkyard dog. We hungry. You guys lost Nick I mean, early in the season. Yeah. Do you think it took you just took you a while for pre conference play? Y'all are kind of adjusting to who you are now. Yeah, kind of adjusting to not having Nick on the floor all the time and him running the show. So, yeah, kind of coming into our own.